Hello YouTubers, uh, another update about those vintage PCs. There's still a few tweaks I want to implement before um, I leave these alone. Um, one of them I've already done, I replaced this Belkin uh, router with that Linksys router, which is much better. The DMZ zone in this um, kept losing its settings, so I'd have to reset it two or three times a day to get my web server um, available on the web and um, with this um, I just forget about it um, so that's been done um, the other thing I'm sure you can hear <laughs> is the fan it's this one here I've already replaced it once you can see the zip tie there um, several years ago but it needs replacing again it's really audible um, everything else is quiet it's just that one fan driving me mad um, the biggest thing I want to do is make these run headless. It never used to be a problem because um, I've got the KVM and the keyboard and monitor and um, I would uh, use that to do anything I wanted to do to those if I didn't use remote desktop. Well this room's going to be decorated and I want to whistle this mess <laughs> down a bit and there's an awful lot of stuff there. So if I can get most of this stuff down to two shelves rather than three, I'll be a lot happier. Now these um, older PCs, um, to get them to run headless can be a problem. Um, the option isn't always present in the BIOS, at least not obviously. Um, so you might have to do a bit of digging. Uh, that's one way of doing it. The other way is a hardware option. Um, you can um, rig up a spoofer, a keyboard spoofer and a mouse spoofer. Um, you just take the old um, fitting from a mouse and um, a keyboard and do some soldering to the wires in the plug and uh, you can fool the computer into thinking something's plugged in. I've not researched it, I'm not doing it that way, I'm going to go with the BIOS option. Um, there's three um, obstacles to doing it um, the software way. One is I have two different types of um, computers, the Desk Pro and the iPad. Um, so I'm hoping with some um, poking around in the BIOS so I can find the option to make this run headless and this run headless. Um, so that's the first two obstacles, two different BIOSes. The third one is that the web server is Linux based. Uh, Suze, Susie, and some Linux distros um, won't boot without the monitor plugged in. I've not tried it on this one. So, I've got three obstacles to overcome. Okay, this is the BIOS of the Compaq iPac uh, mini tower. The um, option to run headlessly to boot without a keyboard and monitor. Um, isn't obvious, you have to dig it up. Um, so we go to security and in the first section um, there's two options there, set up password, power on password. Um, you want power on password, I'm going to put a password in. Accept. Suddenly there's a third option password options that wasn't there before. Click on that. You want uh, network server mode. At the moment it's disabled. Enable that. Accept. Save changes and exit. Simple as that. Let's turn that on. See what we have. Perfect. Okay, so that's that one done. Now I'm going to do that one. 
Back in a minute. Okay, that's the compact with the keyboard and mouse unplugged. Turn that on. Let's see what we've got. It's not on the tripod, so try and hold it steady. And success. So that's that one working, that one working, and that's the Linux web server. Will that boot without the monitor attached? Okay, that's the uh, mouse, keyboard, and video cable taken out of this. I've already configured the BIOS so it boots without the keyboard and mouse. We know that's not a problem with this it's the video issue. Some Linux distros like a monitor to be attached. This doesn't have it, so we should see if it boots. Um, I'm going to do two things to see if it does. Um, first of all, it's a very crude test. I'm just going to watch the hard drive LED light. And um, if that stops after the first 10 seconds or so, you know there's a problem. If it carries on, that bodes well. Um, I'll confirm everything's okay by um, checking the websites from another computer. Okay, let's see if this boots up. There it goes. A flicker. Another flicker. Is it going to carry on? Ah, oh, that's looking good. Okay, I'll give that a few minutes and I should check from another PC if the website's up and running. Again, not the best picture I'm afraid. Um, on my laptop, no tripod, trying to hold it steady. Um, yeah, let's copy and paste website address into the address bar. Ah, that's good. Yeah, and I know this is not a cached copy. Yeah, that's cool. Let's move the website. Yeah. So, um, that's the web server working. So, where are we now? Um, we know the idea works. They will all run headlessly. Um, Linux World 2 without a monitor, and they'll all run without a keyboard and mouse. And I've got to tidy it all up. Yuck, not looking forward to that at all. Ugh, just ugh. God, this is going to take me a while. Now that's a whole mess of cable. Uh, Quite a bit of stuff that I managed to free up. Monitor, KVM, lots of cable. I remember buying all these fittings years ago. Yep. That is so much better. Empty shelf. Yep.
It's still a bit messy, but there's not much I can do about that. Um, well, there is. I could um, zip tie everything, but this room is going to be decorated anyway quite soon, so there's not much point in doing that. Yeah, much better. Happy with that. Uh, one thing to note, when I um, originally had the KVM there, I would use it to um, administer the servers. I could remote desktop um, into them, but sometimes there's just some things you really need to be um, hands-on for. And um, I didn't have a workshop at the time or a proper study. I do now, so I can just pull um, whatever 40 PC needs my attention off that shelf, put it in my study, and um, do what I've got to do to it. So the KVM really is redundant. I don't need it anymore. And that's much sleeker. Yep, yeah, job done.